So what's up YouTube, this is Max from Ellen Zero Productions, and today I'm continuing last week's episode of uh, the setup for Micro Brick Battle, and today I'm going to be doing uh, the strategy, uh, so let's get into it. Alright, so last week uh, I told you a uh, setup of the buildings and bushes and shrubs and stuff, and uh, the vehicles for the defending side, um, vehicles and artillery, and then the reserve. And then uh, the phases of attack for the attacking side, which for me and my brother is mainly the allies. <clears throat> so uh, normally we have the attacking side go first. Um, so essentially what we'll do is we'll take phase one and we'll kind of move them up. I don't know how far these can move. This one can move very far. We'll move them up kind of to either side, we don't want to go straight up the middle, and then we'll get these two to here, these are kind of separate, and we'll set them up here, these two artillery pieces here, then, uh, so then the next turn they can immediately head back for more artillery, then, um, I guess if there are anything, if there is anything in the um, line of sight of any of these vehicles, you could try and take them out. Of course, you could use the Katusha here if these are in a clear line of sight from this. Whatever, you could use the Katusha and try and take those out. Uh, and then, um, then it's the defending side. So then what you want to do is you want to uh, fill in the gaps even more. Um, so, turning vehicles, whatever, um, like I said uh, last week, you want to fill in the gaps um, where the buildings and bushes are not. Because the basic strategy for this game is you want to move all of your tanks, um, well, first starting with light tanks, you want to move all your tanks up to c fill in the gaps even more and create a big wall of tanks that is in your opponent's a clear line of sight just so that they can destroy the tanks creating a wall that they themselves cannot get past so then it's impossible for them to take out the Anzio Annie unless they have an SPG or artillery piece heavy enough to able to take that out <clears throat> unless you had a rule where they had to destroy the mouse then of course you had to wait until you just kind of picked off all their vehicles um, for the mouse to come out and then it's just their heaviest tanks against your mouse and then maybe if some of your artillery pieces are still left standing then I guess that really comes into play so that's the nice thing about you moving up is then you have a clear line of sight from a bunch of your vehicles then you can use all of your artillery which right here um, it's 12 pieces of artillery uh, which some of them are much more uh, I guess heavier than others um, so that will just take care of a bunch of these vehicles um, you can also use it uh, to your advantage where you kind of lull your opponent's vehicles into one of those gaps so you're not only are you using your own vehicles to create a wall you're also using your opponent's vehicles to create a wall which is even more annoying now the only thing with this is if you were to use the Anzio Annie as a last resort and it was filling in a big gap, the Anzio Annie would completely demolish it, then it would have to be put in the discard pile, which would leave a big gap open. And of course, if it's the last shell, then that leaves a very, very, very big opening for a small light vehicle to travel in all the way and be able to set a charge or whatever. Um, and then another flaw is if you were to use uh, something like the Sherman here um, and destroy a bush then it would be able to I mean it wouldn't have to move very far then uh, here or other uh, probably other fail safes um, that I haven't talked about for the defending side or um, strategies for this side uh, so that's kind of the defending strategy for the attacking strategy essentially what you want to do is kind of uh, Distract most of the forces um, and then sneak in one of your light vehicles um, But then of course you 
also want to have a bunch of reserve light vehicles so can, that could sneak in behind it so even if this failed and was destroyed then this one could move in immediately after it and try it again um, and then of course using artillery and SPGs to your advantage you want to destroy your opponent's vehicles before they can build the wall of course unless you don't know of that strategy then I guess you're kind of in trouble um, but yeah I think that's all um, pretty basic uh, small group tactic use light tanks first and then medium tanks and SPGs and then heavy tanks uh, just because if you send out your heavy tanks first which some of them can move pretty far some of them can't um, but if you especially the ones that can't move very far if you put them up first then you have all of this artillery and tanks that could take it out then you're left with small vehicles that then can't take these out and then you're kind of trapped so a way for the defending side to win is to defend this and defend this um, which would mean just holding out until the end or destroying everybody or your uh, all of your opponents vehicles before they can destroy the Anzio any or mouse so uh, that's all I've got for you today um, and next week I will have another setup um, different setup for a micro brick battle uh, so I will see you then